Okay guys, next video is to get rid of this gnarly RC car antenna. With it going up and down, it's super annoying and looks like a freaking RC car, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And we're going to install this. So this is the antenna thing I've ordered off of Moss, uh, Moss Miata. So it comes with two things, it comes with this like replacement for if you don't have the wires for this antenna. And you also have just this, where I believe this is all I need. So let's show you guys how ugly this thing is and we're gonna compare it. Turns out this little thing is secured by kind of twisting it. So I have just like little circle clips that'll fit right in, luckily. And you literally just turn it, twist it, free it up. Okay, and that is freed up there. I need to get access. We just need to take out these little push clips that hold this liner in place so we can get underneath here to where the antenna is. You've got two options you used to included wiring harness they gave you or just basically plug this into your factory one because i have the antenna which only comes on when the radio is on which they say is the best so that's not constantly always getting power all right we're taking off this 10 mil right here we need to the stuff here so that's off i'm gonna unplug the antenna there we go unplugged Move this whole thing and here is your antenna so for this wire thing this literally just plugs into the whole unit so yours was out just pull it out boom and that's freed up and your whole stock unit should be freed up here um i may consider leaving the drain tube in there let's see looks like it's just yeah it's just like a little j-hook thing that goes in there we just remove this bucket with one um, Phillips head screw right there. All right, pretty much we'll just have a uh, vacuum hose plug. So this you can get at like O'Reilly's. They're for vacuum caps and stuff. Just want it nice and tight. And let's see what this should be doing. Cool. So that is plugged up. And we are going to slide these right into the hole. And then obviously they'll put it backwards, put it like so. I'm gonna just clean up the surface a little bit. And then you've got the nut that came with your antenna. Go ahead and tighten that down and that should do it. I was a little bit nervous cause you're gonna be spinning onto metal, but it's got two plates. So the top plate is pretty much just a sandwich. It's like a washer, you sandwich it. it kind of bites into the metal so it doesn't move. And then you've got the nut. So tighten that down, snug it up nice and good. Maybe not tighten that too much cause you wanna kind of position it the antenna the way you want it so i don't have it fully straight because if it's fully straight it's kind of sticking out this way so i have it just going along the body line here um pretty simple so looks pretty good not too bad so let's tighten that up next thing i want to do is i want to do a water test real quick just to make sure that nut is tight enough so pretty much just kind of pour water all around it just to make sure and we'll see if water gets through it or something Oh, doesn't look like it. Looks like we're good to go. Plugging this in here, like so. Just plug it directly in for signal. That's it. And then what we have to do is worry about this power wires. Okay, so after a little bit of finagling, it looks like. This plugs directly into the back here, but I don't have a freaking power source I can plug into for uh, the power that I need to plug in. So that's kind of upsetting. We're gonna have to go back to the back and just gonna have to screw with the stock wiring. So let's go to the trunk. Okay, so I traced the wire that has power when the radio's on. It's this black and gray one right here. This one's a constant, this one's a ground. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it back here probably just so I have enough to plug into here. It is what it is, that's what I'm gonna have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I actually found an end that'll fit uh, to the Mosmiata one, perfect. So 
I just exposed the wire. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there and then crimp the wires in there and we should be good to go. Okay, so not the prettiest install. Um, my crimp job is very mediocre, but um, yeah, for now, I think this is the best bet. So I'm just going to tuck this away. I'm going to go ahead and zip tie up there so it's not flopping around. And I just checked continuity, so it is working. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is literally this thing installed. Doesn't look too bad, but uh, yeah, nice and easy. Just a little bit of modification, but no big deal. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, see you in the next one.